Jim, let's look at the car that you and your team created. That is insane. I'm Jim. I'm 58 years old. I'm from New Jersey, and I'm a custom van upfitter. And now I'm here, and I'm gonna build a Hot Wheels. It doesn't get any better than that. Jim, what is the name of your build? We're gonna call this build Power Charged. So the game plan is to get the highest wheelie we can get. Right. We want this car to go. I'm thinking at about this angle. Okay. Jim's design is bonkers. It's all about the highest wheelie we can get. We're gonna have to build some serious framework in the back for this engine and these wheelie bars, man. It's just me taking a lot of torque through there. We'll run some structure within the structure to reinforce it. This way, when it comes down, because it's gonna come down hard, it won't snap in half. We need this thing to be a wheelie machine, and we need it to stay 12 o'clock. If the wheelie isn't huge, we might as well go home now. This is probably one of the most important parts of this car right now is getting this motor up. To make this car pop a wheel, we gotta take all the weight out of the front of the car. We're going up high speed. We gotta transfer that weight from the front to the back. All right, we're clear. We're gonna come forward nice and slow. Just keep it from rocking. That's how you take a motor out. What's going on, everybody? What are we doing, man? We got lunch dates or something? Hey, Jim, this is what a winner looks like. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, my brother? How you doing? I told the guys, I pushed him to make a six foot wheelie. You're talking about six foot of, of clearance between the front end and the ground. Yes. <laughs> doing this wheelie is mega. We've got to try and move this whole car, and it's a lot to move. You're standing that whole car up, so we just need to make sure it's the strongest it can be. Jim's car looks like it's gonna be really cool, but if it doesn't wheelie, it's not spectacular. I mean, they're putting all their eggs in that basket, so I really hope it delivers. I feel a little bit bad that I'm pushing them as hard as I am. It is a competition, and I would love to win the competition. Good it's luck. Happy man. All right, back to work. Ready? Give the command, brother. Let's oh, go. Boy. This is the moment I've been waiting for back here. So over in the blue garage, they're about to attach their wheelie bar. Down a little bit. OK, eyes. Normally, you'll see a wheelie bar on a high horsepower drag car. High horsepower drag cars often find themselves pointing at the sky. So they put wheelie bars on them to stop them from doing that. One, two, three. It's there, man. We got us a wheelie bar. Uh, what if when they go to wheelie it, it looks like Vin Diesel's car in the first Fast and Furious because it's just torquing that frame so much? It, it could have a nice, cool look to it, but it could also tip over the car. Right. What do you think, Jim? I think we got a problem. You don't like it? I don't got a problem here. How are we getting the motor in? Wait, what? Jim Skillet, man. How are we gonna get the engine crane in through here? We're not gonna be able to do it. So this thing has to come out? We're gonna have to cut it off. We're gonna have to cut this back off. <sighs> We're taking it off, all right? <sighs> we don't have time, man. Oh, guys, guys. Jim, we've got a big problem. We can't get the engine crane in with this on. We're gonna have to cut this back off. Blue Garage is having a massive issue. You know that huge wheelie bar they were working on? Well, it turns out they really attached it well. So well, they in fact now can't get to the trunk to try and put the engine in the back. Better get the grinder. Yo, Jim! Got a little gift for you. Just ripped the Band-Aid off. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, man. The Hemi engine is the most powerful, most beautiful looking motor Chrysler's ever made. That is insane. My dad would be so excited to see this. We always talked about putting a Hemi inside the Charger. We just couldn't find one, and we definitely couldn't afford one. Yeah, that'll do, man. I can't believe this motor's fitting in this good. Well, we've not got to fit it in yet. No, no, I don't want to jinx it. You're right, yeah. Last time I celebrated, look what happened. We had to cut it off. Jim, how are you doing, man? I gotta tell you, these seats are beautiful, man. I just can't wait to sit in them, man. <laughs> I wanna be comfortable when I'm looking at the sky, you know what I mean? <laughs> Jim's a great guy, and funnily enough, my dad is called Jim. My old man owns a garage, but we were always heavily involved in drag racing, and that was when it really started to kick in for me, being into the cars. With my old man, it was no choice to uh, grow up in the workshop, and then I'd go in, you just find loads of stuff to do. They'll take old cars apart. That's where we're very similar, I think. 
I could see he kind of got, still got that little spark when he talks about his dad, and I feel the same way, man. It, it's putting a bond with us that's really, really nice right now. So what did your old man do then? He built custom cars in the 50s, but when he got married to my mom and had a family, he really stopped working on cars because he concentrated on the family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you have clubs and stuff then around where you my were? My dad always had the club. The name of the club was Let the Good Time Roll Cruises. Let the Good Time Roll. And my mom and dad started that in the late 50s. That is awesome. Hearing Jim talk about his family's car club has really inspired me. I think it would be a lovely touch to try and feature the name of that in the building. I think we can make some sort of wing spats on the side. Some wing spats that would go up, has that look. up through here. Cool, I yeah. think that's it. I could knock us up a front splitter. It needs to look good. Let's keep it simple and let's keep it cool. Oh, hey. boy. Judges. Talk to us about the inspiration you took from Bad to the Blade. That Hot Wheels, it was complete opposite design of what we have. It was just all sharp edges. But one thing I did notice is that there was almost like these wings that covered right before the rear tires. So what we thought we'd do is we'd use them throughout advantage to put them on the side of the car. We went with subtle touches. Talk to me about the elements you're incorporating from the Hot Wheels Bad to the Blade vehicle on the front of this car. The design of the 69 Charger to me, it is iconic and I didn't want to touch the front end of the car. So if you're looking at it from the front, it's basically gonna look like a stock original 69 Charger. I'm still waiting to see more of that Hot Wheels element here in the front. She's just putting the pressure on me. That's what this competition is all about. I don't think that the judge is that impressed how I incorporated design from the bad to the blades into our car. But I'm telling you, I know this is gonna to pull together once we get there, we're just not there yet. You guys will not be disappointed. Hello guys. What's up, what's up? Oh, judges. How are you gonna make it wheel it? Check out this right here. Whoa, 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 whoa. My friend, whoa. this is Hot Wheels. All right. So we don't just want to make a wheelie, we want to hold the wheelie. Okay. So we got hydraulics over here, and when we hit the magic button, two rams will lift it right up into the sky show hold. Hydraulic rams take fluid that's pressurized to exert force. That ram will take all the weight of the car back onto the tires, and before you know it, the car will start lifting up. I'm very confident that these hydraulics are going to work. They look pretty good. We're running out of time. I have to see if the wheelie works. We got to test now. All right, man, I'm going down. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, 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 no. Oh, 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 oh. I see the car going up crooked, and I'm terrified. Stop, just stop, because I don't want it to tip over. That was nuts. What's wrong? Yeah, what is the problem? Yeah, I have no idea. Winning this competition is all about that wheelie. So somehow, we're gonna have to make it right for Jim. Right, we need to go. The wheelie is everything in this. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out this remote. Hang on. In my mind, it's more important that it does the wheelie. We don't have time for this. That's where I want to put the focus. Looks like we got a little bit of air in the lines. We're gonna have to bleed it. Focus curse. Come on. Okay, let's bolt the wheelie bar on. This is gonna be tight up this ramp. Yeah, so the first panel goes in all the way first. I got you, man. Yes, that's it. Yeah. It's in, it's in. Three, come on. Two. Go, go, go. Get the punch clean. One. Ah, that's it. Oh. That's it. Well, Jim, let's look at the car that you and your team created. I waited 40 years. I'm going to see it all yellow, man. The excitement level is beyond the highest it's going to go. This is it. How's it going, Jim? How are you? Yeah. Eddie on, Eddie on. What's up? How awesome is that? Yeah. Bring it in. Oh, you yeah. love that? You take that in. Yeah, take it in. Oh, take, take it, it in. in. This is what we've been know. waiting for, baby. That beats everything. Oh, yeah. Woo. Oh, yellow's back. Better than ever. Jim, tell us about this incredible creation. Here we have a beautiful 69 Charger of my youth. Hot Wheels was in my mind when I designed it. Big motors, big tires, crazy paint, and love. Those are all the things I have in my design. Yeah, I've always wanted to pop a wheelie, and back in the day, I never had enough power to do it. And my dad would actually stand out in the street, and he kind of would, would lie to me, man. He said, I think I've seen the tire go up. I've seen the tire go up. It never went up, man. And then we took this beautiful Hemi engine and put it in the back of the car. Listen, it's been 40 years in the making. I know. Are you ready to see your Charger do a wheelie? I am more than ready at this point. Blue Garage, let it rip. Go, baby, go! Oh, look at that! Hey, whoa! 
worked. That is insane. That How cool was is this? Amazing. It's been a 40 year journey, and I finally got to see that wheelie. As the car went up, perfect. Jim, what's on the bottom? Ah, uh, you guys put that on? That's my mom and dad's car club. They started that in 1959. <clears throat> and when they died, they left it to us. And now it's on the car. Your story was so good, Jim. We had to get it in, in the build. Thank you, guys. I can't believe they did that. It's unbelievable. I know he's looking down on me, but if my dad was here today, he'd be smiling from ear to ear. It's beautiful, man. When it rose up and did its wheelie, <laughs> come on, man. It was absolutely monumental. Thank you, Terry. Thank you. When you guys started this build, told us your ideas, I thought to myself, you guys are insane. And uh, I still think you're insane. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Absolutely love the paint. Absolutely love the motor. I wish that you guys did a little more work with the Bads of the Blade inspiration. I wish you would have just made these side splitters, that front chin splitter, just a little more crazy. But overall execution, I think you guys killed it. Well, Jim, you're getting a lot of love, and you should, you deserve it. But there are some issues that I'm seeing with this car right now. Obviously, you came in with an iconic vehicle, so you have these great character lines, but the silhouette is still largely unchanged. The team spent a lot of time on the back half of the car. It was a risk. I know it's bothering the judges. We should have put more into the front of the car. But Jim's goal was to wheelie. Did it wheelie? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I am so impressed that y'all got that to work. I think the little stuff to me is really what makes it special. Man, seeing, seeing your family's car club underneath, making sure that you had a second seat to make Pops proud is, uh, man, that's so special. Who's cutting onions? Was that you? <laughs> Sorry, I got three kids, I cry a lot. I never had a really good relationship with my dad. And when I see the emotion, the joy in honoring him in this way, this is what, what the whole Hot Wheels tradition is all about. It's bringing families together. Thank you so much for saying that. Blue Garage, you did it. Congratulations. All that hard work paid off. The super fan who inspired our favorite ride this week is... Jim, congratulations! because the car did a wheelie. That is so cool, so unique, and so original. They completely reimagined what that car would look like. I feel amazing that I won this thing. I just feel honored to be given this opportunity to build Hot Wheels, and it means everything to me. Jim, you did it. I know.